Story 1 Bay's attention had never failed to be captured by the wild beauty of the natural world. She spent her days as an avid wildlife photographer, capturing breathtaking moments of animals in the environments in which they naturally exist. Fay, who had been itching for a fresh experience, decided to take a trip to South Africa, a world-renowned region for its abundant and breathtaking wildlife. As soon as she set foot on African soil, excitement went through her body. She took her dependable camera with her and set out into the heart of the African savanna with the resolute intention of capturing the essence of the African wilderness in her photographs. Each passing day brought her closer to the wondrous animals she yearned to photograph, allowing her to immerse herself more fully in their world. They came across the pride of lions on a lucky day, just as the sun began casting a golden glow over the landscape. As she seized the opportunity to photograph these majestic predators up close, the adrenaline rushed through her body and her heart raced. She moved with extreme caution positioning herself at a safe distance away from the majestic beasts while keeping her lens trained on them. As Faye stood and watched the lions, with her camera in hand to record their every action, the air was electric with excitement. She felt shivers run down her spine at the force of their presence, but she couldn't help but be captivated by the wild beauty of the creatures. She felt a profound connection to the wild spirit of the animal kingdom as she pursued her goal of capturing the essence of the incredible creatures she had encountered in her search. However, it only took a moment for the peace and quiet to be shattered. Faye was jolted to her very core when she was attacked by a lioness that came at her with an apparent lack of provocation. She was overcome with terror, and as a reflex, her body froze. The lioness pounced on her prey before she could even react her claws slicing through the air as she did so. Pain erupted across her face as soon as the lioness's razor-sharp claws made contact with Faye. The ground of the savanna was stained with blood, and Faye's shrieks of agony could be heard all around. Her hopes of getting the perfect shot were dashed in that terrifying moment, and she was forced to concentrate all of her energy on staying alive instead. Faye's screams were miraculously heard by nearby rangers engaged in their usual patrol when they happened on the scene. They quickly intervened after hearing the cries for help and opened fire in the air in response to the onslaught of gunfire that was coming their way. The lioness was so alarmed by the unexpected sound that she let go of Faye and ran into the surrounding wilderness. Faye was rushed to a nearby medical facility with tears of gratitude welling up in her eyes and blood streaming down her face as she was rushed there. Due to the severity of her injuries, she needed a lot of medical attention and the road to recovery was long and difficult, but Faye's unbreakable will was not going to let her give in to hopelessness. She remained resolute in her determination to not let this setback diminish her enthusiasm for photographing wild animals. The news of the attack by the lion quickly spread throughout the region, prompting the authorities to launch an operation to search for and capture the lioness in order to ensure everyone's safety, including the lioness herself. As the days turned into weeks, the elusive lioness was eventually captured and relocated to a sanctuary where she could live the rest of her days peacefully. During the course of her recovery, Faye took comfort in the fact that the lioness had been relocated to a location where she was no longer in danger. It was a striking illustration of the precarious relationship between humans and other forms of life. Faye's journey had taken a detour that she had not anticipated. Still, the experience broadened her knowledge and increased her respect for the animals she had devoted her life to in photography. Faye's wounds slowly healed over the course of several months, and during that time, she came to the realization that the scars she bore were not just physical, they were also etched upon her soul. As she emerged from the shadows, she had a newfound appreciation for the precarious nature of life, as well as the tenacity of the human spirit. Faye returned to the wilderness, this time bringing her camera with her. This time, she went into the situation with a sense of humility 
and an acknowledgement of the dangers that came along with her chosen path. But her ardor burned even brighter than it had before and armed her with experience. She continued to capture the beauty of the natural world while remaining constantly mindful of the wild forces that inhabit it. And as Faye continued her journey deeper into the heart of the wilderness, she became increasingly aware that her story, which included both triumphant and tragic elements, would be forever intertwined with the story of the lioness that had mauled her. She would bridge the gap between humans and animals through her photographs, inspiring a new generation to protect and cherish the creatures that share this earth with them. And she would make the wild spirit that nearly claimed her life immortal through her photographs. Story 2 There once was a young man named Zaid who worked hard as a shepherd. He lived in the tranquil town of Amreli, tucked away in the bustling state of Gujarat, India. At the tender age of 25, he inherited the honorable profession of tending to a herd of nine cattle, which had been entrusted to him by his father. Zaid's day began with the rising of the sun, when he would lead his cattle out into the expansive fields to graze on the verdant green pastures that stretched for miles. He had developed an unbreakable bond with his herd, with each animal having a name and a personality all its own. Because Zaid had such a compassionate heart, they could confide in him and entrust him with their care. On a day doomed to tragedy, as the sun's rays of golden light bathed the landscape, an unanticipated danger appeared on the horizon. A lioness emerged from the thick vegetation, fierce and guarding the target of her attention, which was one of Zaid's cherished cattle. The herd dispersed in terror as they attempted to find safety from the predator's unrelenting gaze, which caused panic to break out. Zaid leaped to the defense of his helpless companion in an instant, brandishing a sturdy stick in the process of his charge. He courageously placed himself in the path of the lioness and the animal she was hunting in a last-ditch effort to save the animal's life. However, the lioness launched a lightning-fast and vicious attack on Zaid, sinking her sharp claws deep into his flesh as she pounced on him. The lioness became even more aggressive as soon as she found out that what she attacked right now was Zaid, not the cattle it had been lurking for. Zaid tried to stand up in an attempt to defend himself, but it was too late. The lioness had already gone on top of him and brutally bit him in the face and head, causing blood to rush from the wounds caused by it. Determined to stay alive, he decided to fight back with all the strength left in his body. He threw solid punches to the lioness's face, hoping it would hurt the animal and cause it to retreat. At one moment, Zaid stretched his arms for the last time and scrambled to position, to which he decided to lock the lioness's neck into his head and tighten it. The lioness was bawling in pain when he decided to let it go. The lioness immediately ran away, leaving Zaid bloodied and injured. Zaid was left bloodied and shattered as a result of the terrifying experience. His body bore the scars of the lioness's wrath, deep gashes and wounds that vividly depicted his valiant struggle. Her wrath had been directed toward him, even though the pain seared through every fiber of his body, and even though blood stained his tattered clothes, his indomitable spirit refused to give in. Because of his unyielding will to live, Zaid pulled through a seemingly impossible situation and managed to cling to life. As soon as they heard about his predicament, the villagers rushed to his aid and helped carry him back to the safety of Amreli. Zaid was given careful attention by the local physician, who was well known in the community for his talent as a healer. Zaid's wounds gradually healed over several days, but he was left with scars that would always remind him of his extraordinary ordeal. As word spread of the shepherd's incredible survival, the residents of Amreli quickly gathered to celebrate his tenacity and bravery in the face of adversity. The story of Zaid had become a wellspring of motivation and an illustrative example of the indomitable human spirit in the face of adversity. In acknowledgement of his lack of self-interest, the senior citizens of the community bestowed upon him the honorific Guardian of the Herd, 
which is normally reserved for individuals who have shown exceptional bravery. Zaid returned to his responsibilities with a renewed sense of vigor after receiving the recognition he had just received. His bond with the cattle became even stronger, as did his empathy for them and his comprehension of the requirements they had. He guided them through the pastures with a light hand while watching for any indication of impending danger. The flock, who trusted their shepherd more than they ever had before, accompanied him everywhere he went, content in the knowledge that their devoted shepherd would watch out for them no matter what. As the years went by, Zaid's story evolved into a myth passed down from generation to generation. He came to be seen as a representation of unflinching bravery, resiliency, and the unbreakable bond that exists between humans and animals. People came to Amreli hoping to meet the legendary shepherd, get a first-hand account of his incredible journey, and see a living testament to his incredible travels. Zaid continued to walk alongside his cattle as the sun set over the enchanting town of Amreli, casting an ethereal glow over the landscape. The indomitable spirit that had carried him through the darkest nights was symbolized on his body by the scars that remained, and as the soft breeze rustled through the fields, Zaid discovered comfort in the uncomplicated beauty of life and in the steadfast loyalty of his cherished herd. Story 3 This story also took place in the city of Amreli, which can be found in the dynamic Indian state of Gujarat. A young boy once lived in the area known as Prajith. Every day, with his head brimming with questions and aspirations, he embarked on a journey to the halls of learning at the school he cherished most. The streets of Amreli were usually filled with laughter and chatter of children, but on one unlucky day, a dangerous event would shake the very foundations of Prajith's life. Prajith started his routine walk to school just as the sun's first golden rays appeared above the horizon. He had no idea that fate was planning something terrifying for him to experience in the future. The gates of the local zoo had been left ajar, which resulted in the unwitting release of a vicious lioness into the streets of Amreli, who were not expecting her presence. The gates were located just a stone's throw away from his path. As Prajith navigated the twisting lanes, he became acutely aware of his surroundings and perceived a heightened sense of danger. The lioness that had just gotten away was sneaking up on the boy, unaware of her presence, and suddenly pounced on him. The animal immediately went on top of Prajith, which made the young boy scream and quiver in fear. The lion pawed and scratched almost every part of Prajith's upper body, causing blood to become visible from his wounds. Prajith could feel himself passing out at any moment. The residents of the neighborhood began screaming and pleading for help, which caused a commotion that quickly escalated into a panic. Prajith was left with severe injuries and was fighting for his life after the lioness attacked him because she was driven by her natural instincts to do so. The tragic event quickly became widespread knowledge throughout the community, arousing the attention and concern of the people who lived there. They leaped into action without any hesitation, rushing to the aid of the young boy in trouble. Neighbors ran out of their homes and formed a protective barrier around Prajith. They yelled and waved anything they could get their hands on to scare away the vicious beast. In the midst of the mayhem, an elderly woman by the name of Kalyani made her way through the crowd. She was known for her quick thinking and indomitable spirit, and as she ran toward the closest house, she dialed the number for emergency services while her hands were shaking. After only a few moments, an ambulance was sent to the scene, and its siren immediately broke the tension in the air. While this was happening, the people living nearby made a heroic attempt to divert the lion's attention by any means necessary. They took a unified stance against the dangerous predator and were armed with sticks, brooms, and even kitchen utensils in their fight against it. They displayed unwavering bravery and determination, which was bolstered by the realization that a young person's life was hanging in the balance. When the wailing sirens of the ambulance finally came into range, 
it was the first sign that some relief was on the way. The medical team swiftly assessed the situation and skillfully sedated the lioness, ensuring the safety of everyone involved. Eager hands eagerly waved the medical team down with eagerness. They approached Prajith, whose body was lying battered and bruised on the unforgiving ground, with careful precision as they moved closer. It was a race against time to get Prajith to the hospital, where the medical staff was working diligently to bring Prajith's precarious condition under control. His wounds were severe, and it would be a long and difficult road to recovery. On the other hand, the outpouring of support from the community served as a steady ray of hope throughout this difficult time. The community came together in their shared determination to see Prajith emerge victorious from this harrowing ordeal by holding vigils, whispering prayers, and donating an overwhelming amount of money. As Prajith bravely fought for his life, the days quickly turned into weeks, and the weeks quickly turned into months. His body and mind gradually started to mend as he was surrounded by the unwavering love of his family and the unwavering support of his community. The scars on his body became a testament to his toughness and his spirit refused to be broken in spite of everything that had happened to him. The people quickly became enamored with Prajith after hearing the news of his progress, which spread far and wide. Everyone who heard his story was moved and their hearts were filled with a renewed sense of unity and compassion as a result. His story became an inspiration. In the face of adversity, Prajith transformed into a symbol of strength reminding us of the strength that can be derived from the power of community, love, and unyielding determination. Prajith's life continued to flourish despite the passage of time as he enthusiastically embraced every moment of his existence. The event left an indelible mark on his journey, transforming him into a young man with an unyielding spirit and an unwavering desire to positively impact the world. The story of Prajith the young boy attacked by a lioness but managed to escape with his life was written into the chronicles of Amreli's history. His story would forever serve as a reminder of the triumph of the human spirit and the profound strength that lies within a united community that is ready to aid one of its own in times of dire need. Story 4 Gemma, a loving and adventurous mother, had always sought new and exciting experiences to share with her 10-year-old daughter, Miley. So when she heard about a new drive through safari that had recently opened near their home in Australia, she knew it was an opportunity they couldn't miss. With a gleam of excitement, Gemma decided to take Miley on a thrilling journey through the animal kingdom. The duo set off in their car early one sunny morning, brimming with anticipation. As they entered the safari, the air buzzed with the sounds of wildlife, blending harmoniously with the rustling leaves and distant roars. Miley's eyes widened with wonder, taking in the sight of magnificent creatures roaming freely. They slowly made their way through the safari, gazing at the graceful giraffes nibbling on tall trees, the mischievous monkeys swinging from branches, and the regal lions basking in the sunlight. It was a mesmerizing sight, like stepping into a real-life nature documentary. But suddenly, as they approached the lion enclosure, adrenaline coursed through Gemma's veins. The king of the jungle, a massive lion, launched itself toward their car. In a frantic moment, it pounced onto the vehicle, its powerful claws tearing into the metal. Gemma's heart pounded as she fought to regain control of the situation. With tremendous force, the lion managed to pry open the car door, and in an instant, chaos erupted. Gemma found herself face to face with the menacing predator, its primal instincts fully awakened. The fear in her eyes mirrored Miley's horror-stricken expression as she watched her mother's life hang in the balance. But just as despair threatened to consume them, a group of courageous bystanders, who were also driving through the safari, sprang into action. With unwavering bravery, they distracted the lion, drawing its attention away from Gemma. It was a race against time, a desperate struggle to save a life. Seizing the moment, Gemma summoned every ounce of strength and pushed herself out of the car. 
The lion lunged, its ferocious claws grazing her side, inflicting painful wounds. But the valiant efforts of the strangers did not falter. They surrounded the lion, shouting and creating a commotion until it finally retreated, vanishing back into the depths of the enclosure. With tears streaming down her face, Miley rushed to her injured mother's side, filled with relief and anguish. Other kind-hearted individuals quickly called for help, and in no time, medical personnel arrived to tend to Gemma's wounds. Though battered and bruised, her spirit remained unbroken. In the days that followed, Gemma underwent intensive treatment and surgeries to recover from her injuries. Throughout the difficult journey, Miley stood steadfastly by her side, her unwavering love and support as a hopeful beacon. News of the incident spread like wildfire, capturing the attention and sympathy of the community. Countless individuals rallied together, offering their assistance in any way possible. Fundraisers were organized to support Gemma's medical expenses, while messages of encouragement flooded in from all corners of the world. Gemma's miraculous survival became a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the power of unity. It served as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, kindness and compassion can prevail. Months later, as Gemma's scars began to heal and life gradually returned to normal, she reflected on the incredible bond that had formed between strangers on that fateful day. Their collective bravery and selflessness saved her life and ignited a flame of resilience within her. Gemma and Miley's shared experience on the safari had forever transformed them. It taught them the fragility of life, the importance of cherishing each moment, and the profound impact that compassion can have on a person's journey. With newfound strength and a deepened appreciation for the world around them, Gemma and Miley embarked on new adventures, forever carrying with them the indomitable spirit that had emerged from the heart of the safari. And as they traveled together, their bond grew stronger, reminding them of the extraordinary power of love and the unwavering resilience of the human spirit.